The way to overcome procrastination is to do something harder than the hard thing that you're putting off. Some people really like deliberate cold exposure for that reason. The amount of a, of a mental barrier that one has to get over in a moment, you have to pick something that's worse than writing the chapter in your book and do that for five minutes. People who procrastinate have access to certain creative states that non-procrastinators don't, don't because they have don't to. Don't start yeah. justifying the procrastination right. crowd. Um, that's a dangerous line to go Yeah, down. procrastination, I mean, I mean, what, the origins of procrastination are, are complicated and varied um, to, to really say a single concise statement um, as to what procrastination is. But the way to overcome procrastination is to do something harder than the hard thing that you're putting off. That's very clear. Do something harder. Don't go clean your, like suddenly if you want to do their, their taxes, clean their room, clean the garage, organize the gym, whatever, when they don't want to write a chapter in their book, you have to pick something that's worse than writing the chapter in your book and do that for five minutes. That's the way that the, the dopamine reward system works and some of these stress systems work. Um, what would be an example? Give me, give me a tactical example of okay, this. Okay, I need to write a chapter on focus and, um, and tools for focus for my book. I'm finding I'm doing everything but doing that. Let's just set it a kind of a fun example. So then you have to find something worse than that. So for me, worse than that is anything involving a spreadsheet. Just the idea of a spreadsheet gives me hives. So I would force myself to do five to 10 minutes of like, like, Real, like establishing a spreadsheet of my expenses and taxes related to, I don't know, some segment of my work life. I mean, I can't think of anything worse in that moment that doesn't involve physical or psychological damage. So doing that, and then you'll see it will make writing that book chapter very accessible. It's a down, it's a downhill cruise from there. But people find themselves doing all these things that they would normally want to put off as a way to avoid doing the harder thing. So it's it's about understanding that what is difficult and what you want to put off or do is a dynamic hierarchy. But the point being, do something harder than the thing you're trying to avoid. Now, some people really like deliberate cold exposure for that reason, because in a, and here I'm going to really, if I've taken heat for no pun intended for the deliberate cold exposure thing, now I'm really going to get behind it for the following reason. People who are really into exercise of various kinds, but not deliberate cold exposure, love to push back on people that do posts about deliberate cold exposure. Oh, that's not doing anything. It's not much metabolic lift. Okay, but let's really step back and be honest with ourselves. The adrenaline, the, 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 the pattern of adrenaline release over time from deliberate cold exposure is something that's very hard to recreate safely with other endeavors. You know, sure, a hard workout is going to spike your adrenaline and dopamine also, but is it going to spike it the way that deliberate cold exposure is? No. Also, the amount of a of a mental barrier that one has to get over in a moment, not, there's no like three warm up sets, like walk on the treadmill. Zero to 100. Pre-workout, show me the pre-cold plunge drink that makes it easier, okay? It's called willpower. Yeah. Okay. And now some people come to love deliberate cold exposure, but that's usually for how they feel afterwards. So I think there is so much utility to deliberate cold exposure. Now, do people have to do it? No, but deliberate cold shower, deliberate ice bath, deliberate cold plunge is a, is a world apart from all the other self-imposed stressors because of the speed of onset of the yeah. stress. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. <gasps> so even even and, more so than a sauna. That's right. You get into that's a right. sauna and it takes yeah. time for right. you to heat up. It takes right. time for you to get uncomfortable. Right. I mean, it's, so it's a very potent tool because of the amplitude and the timing of adrenaline that it creates. Well